for the last several days, I've been working on getting some Intel Flex 140 GPUs configured in some Dell R650 servers that I am responsible for managing. Now, for the first couple days, I was having a bit of a challenge because I've never worked with GPUs in an enterprise server before. So one of the big challenges that I initially had was I would get the drivers installed. I'd go into the ESXi host client to try to enable SRIOV, or I would try to do it in vCenter. And it would allow me to click the enable. It would allow me to set the number of virtual functions or VFs, but then it would continue to say enabled requires reboot. Well, even after a reboot, it continued to say this. So I've had to do a, a bit of research to get things figured out. I didn't realize that I needed to enable SRIOV in the system BIOS. So once I went about getting that done, I had an issue where the server wouldn't actually fully boot if I had three GPUs installed. It would still boot just fine with two, but not with three. So this went back and forth for uh, several hours. And I eventually found a recommendation from one of my colleagues to make sure that the BIOS is up to date. So in this video, we will be going through all of the necessary steps to get the Intel GPU drivers installed and fully recognized so that SRIOV can be enabled under ESXi or vCenter on a Dell R650. So before you get started, make sure that you have the Intel Flex GPUs installed in your server. So that's already been done by the people that run our data center. The particular server that I'm going to be working on today has three Intel Flex 140 GPUs. And if we look over on the left-hand side of my screen here, if I list the PCI devices in grep for display, I get pretty generic information. Display controller, Intel Corporation device, 56C1. Okay, that's not great. We ideally want to see something about the Flex 140 GPU when we issue that command. If we click over into vCenter, we can see what it's supposed to look like, right? So this particular server here, VCD37, has already been configured. We can see under graphic devices, I've got data center GPU Flex 140. There's six items. That's because I have three Flex 140 cards installed and each card has two GPUs. So that gives me six items listed here. Now, if I click over to the server that we'll be working on today, that same screen is just showing that generic display controller. So let's go ahead and get this fixed. The first thing that we'll need to do is go to Intel's website and download the drivers. As of this recording, the latest drivers are from November 1st, 2023, version 1.2.0. Now we do have drivers available for ESX 703 as well as 8.0. So I've already downloaded both of these. The next thing you need to do is extract that file. Let's go back to my little notepad here. Get that loaded up. So download the latest in Intel drivers for your ESX. I've done that. Extract them so that you have these two different zip files. I've done that. And now you want to copy them over to your ESX host. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. I've got my SCP command all set. We can see here that I've got the IDC GPU as well as the IDC GPU tools. So those are both copied over to the server and they are there and ready. So let's take a look in the temp folder. There we go. We can see that both of the files are there and ready for installation. But before we actually get started installing, we'll need to take some other steps. Let me scroll down for my instructions here. Now these instructions are not copied from any of the Intel stuff. These instructions are based on the notes that I've taken during my experience over the last few days with these. So the first thing we'll need to do is place the host in maintenance mode using either the ESXi host client, if you're running standalone or vCenter, or you can just do it through a console command and I've got that shown here. I'll go ahead and flip over to my vCenter and I will mark this particular server for maintenance mode. And I'll go ahead and just ensure accessibility here. Now we'll give that a couple minutes to get completed. While we're waiting on that, I'm going to click over to a browser that has access to the iDRAC of my Dell R650. Now I'll need to get logged in. 
All right, let's go to configuration, BIOS settings, integrated devices. And if we scroll down here under integrated devices, we can see that there's a setting called SRIOV global enable. This needs to be enabled in order for the SRIOV to be able to get configured properly in ESX or your vCenter. So we have to switch this to enable, apply, and then we need to do an apply and reboot. But since I want to update the BIOS before I make that change, we'll do that first. Now, if, if I were to do this right now, when I go to do the reboot, I would have some errors and I'll share a screenshot of those errors right about now. It took me a while to figure out that I needed to update the BIOS in order to get rid of these errors here that I'm showing on the screen. Okay, let's go back into the iDRAC that I'm logged into. Now under maintenance, I come over into system update and location type, I'll keep that as local. Update path, I'm gonna choose a file. And I do have a download here, it's the BIOS 1.12.1 there. So we'll go ahead and upload that. We can see on the left-hand side of the screen that my server has gone into maintenance mode, that's good. Okay, I will select that file and I will say install at next reboot. Okay, we'll switch over to the job queue and we can see that I have the job there. It's downloading the BIOS right now and it's going to do that at the next reboot. So before we reboot, let me go ahead and install the drivers. So we'll switch back over to my console session here. Now we've got two commands that we need to issue. I'm gonna go ahead and paste them in here. Now the first one is ESX CLI software component apply dash dash no dash sig dash check dash D. This is, I'm telling it what depot, what file I want it to install. And it's slash TMP slash asterisk Intel dash ID CGPU underscore asterisk dot zip. So that first one installed and now the tools are getting installed. Make sure that you do the IDC GPU before you do the IDC GPU tools because the tools is dependent on the other one being installed first. So we can see that both of these have completed their installation and reboot required is true. So we've got our BIOS update waiting for our reboot. So let's go ahead and issue a reboot command here. And we will come back here in a few minutes when that reboot has completed. Okay, we can see that the BIOS file is getting downloaded and now it's being applied to the server. Okay, and we can see that the BIOS has now been updated to 1.12.1. So now I'm going to click into that window and make sure that it's active so that when the boot menu comes up, there we go, press F2 for system setup. Okay, so now that we're in the BIOS setup screen here, we want to select system BIOS for the configuration. Press enter. And I'm using my down arrow key to go down to integrated devices. And I go down arrow key until I get down to here. And I use the left arrow key to select enabled. And I press escape. And let's just make sure that the setting held there. I'll go back in by pressing enter. I can see that the setting state is enabled. So I'll press escape, escape again. And the settings have changed. Do you wanna save the changes? Press enter for yes. Okay. And I will escape since I'm done with all of my device settings here. Are you sure you wanna exit and reboot? Yes, I am. Okay, looks like my ESX host is back up, so I should be done with the console. I'll go ahead and close that window. 
And let's go ahead and re-establish our SSH connection to that host. Clear that out. Okay, so let's do that LSPCI command again. And we will grep on display. And this time we can see that it says display controller and it's properly showing us our Intel Corporation data center GPU Flex 140. Excellent, this is exactly what we wanna see at this point. So I'm done with my console window. I can go ahead and minimize that out of the way. Now, if we look back into our vCenter, we can see that our host that's in maintenance mode is properly showing data center GPU Flex 140 again. And as a reminder, here's what it looks like when it's not configured. I'll be doing that host a little bit later today. So we have everything showing properly here. Now under PCI devices, the next thing that we wanna do is go to all PCI devices. We can see right now that there's no pass through enabled devices. So go to all PCI devices and let's filter the device name on GPU. Okay, perfect. We see now that we've got our six entries here for the GPU Flex 140. And again, that's two GPUs per Flex 140 card. That's why we have six of them, even though we only have three cards installed. All right, so in order to get this stuff configured, next thing we'll need to do is I'm gonna start here at the bottom. I'm gonna put a check in that box. Configure SRIOV. We enable it and I'm going to set the virtual functions to six per GPU. Click OK. This does take a moment. It would be nice if it actually went away and just showed some progress, but it just sits there for a bit. Now we can see that the one that I had was this one here. That's the one that I configured. We see that it is now disabled for pass-through still, but now SRIOV is enabled. And we see that we have some additional devices that have shown up, one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are the six that are going to show up under pass-through enabled. So if we click over there right now, we can see that those six are there. So we've got the 55 all the way down. Now we wanna repeat that same process for the remaining five GPUs, all right? Okay, that's three GPUs at 12 virtual functions apiece. So that should give us 36 pass-through enabled devices. And we can see here, we do have 36. All right, so ESX and vCenter now recognize that these GPUs are available and they are available via the graphics hardware. We can see here that we've got the devices there. If we look at host graphics, we can see that the pass-through GPU assignment policy is spread VMs across GPUs for best performance. This is the default. So at this point, this is as far as I've gotten in the installation and configuration of the Intel Flex 140 GPUs. Again, the whole reason that I made this video is because of the challenge that I first faced of getting SRIOV enabled. And the root cause was my BIOS was too old. It was version 1.3.8 and I needed a newer version. I don't know exactly what the minimum version required is, but whatever the current version available, seems to do the trick for me. So with that, I'm going to close out of this week's video and wish you the best and happy holidays. Take care and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.